So you know it will help. You. Yes. Okay, so these are all the topics that we will deal in introduction of SAP ERP. And then coming to navigation, we will see what are transaction codes, how the SAP GUI is. GUI stands for graphical user interface. So I'll give you a brief about what this GUI is. And then we'll see what are SAP Fiori apps. How do we use this SAP Fiori Launchpad? And uh, in sales and distribution, what are the um, sub modules that we have? We'll explore all this. Uh, Details. Apart from this, there are also other navigation techniques, shortcuts that I, I'm going to show you in this uh, section one. And then coming to section two, there are two major things, which is definition and assignment. This enterprise structure is like a blueprint. When we come into this topic, I'll explain you what is enterprise structure, why we need enterprise structure. And then uh, in this enterprise structure, we will uh, do all the customization, end-to-end -end customization, like definition and assignment of a complete uh, enterprise blueprint. So this includes everything uh, in, in your real time, whatever you do, uh, we will take one example, just like, um, just a second. So this is a, a enterprise structure. This is an example of enterprise structure, a company which is having multiple um, divisions. And then um, I will explain you what is a company, company code, sales, or everything. So this is just a blueprint of a company. So we will replicate the same design, or we will see, um, you know, based on your requirement, we can also change, and then we will create a complete business blueprint of a company. Then uh, moving over to master data, we have different types of master data in SAP ST, customer master data, material master data, CMIR, which is customer material info record. And in pricing, we have condition masters. So all these are the uh, important master data in SAP ST module. So we will briefly discuss about how do we do the configurations of these master data. And uh, moving over, there is something called business partner in um, SAP S4 HANA especially. So this is a new gateway. Uh, the things where, where we used to do in um, ECC are changed now. So there is something called business partner. This is a new master data which has come up in SAP S4 HANA. It's not that we only have business partner module or business partner master data. In S4 HANA, even in ECC, we have this business partner master data, but now uh, things have changed. Earlier, we used to uh, have different types of master data and we used to do, you know, we used to manage customer master data and vendor master data differently. But now uh, in S4 HANA, we have this single point entry, which is called business partner master data. So we will see what is this master data all about and we'll see all the kind configurations, relationships, everything, all the uh, you know, detailed uh, description and configurations of business partner master data. And then uh, we will see pricing. In this pri pricing, I have uh, you know bifurcated into two parts. First, I will take an introduction of what is pricing. Later sessions, we have the, uh, you know, um, um, detailed, uh, topics uh, which will cover pricing. So yeah, these are all the basic functions. These basic functions includes pricing. These are these are all the advanced topics which are related to pricing. So I have split this pricing concept into two parts. So this will be the part one, which will cover the condition technique bonus by pricing. In pricing, we have rounding. So we will see what is rounding topic. We will see what is price. Uh, we have different types of pricing types. So we will discuss what are those pricing types and all. And in sales documents, we will see what are sales documents. There's something called scheduling, um, schedule line category determination and item category determination. This is the most important concept 
in SAP ST, before we touch any documents, we have to do this item configuration and schedule line configuration. So we will see what are those. Additionally, these are something, this hard goods processing, service processing, these are new terminologies which have come up, uh, which are introduced with this S4 HANA. So we will see a brief about how uh, we uh, do configurations for the service-based uh, business process, uh, service-based documents. And uh, this list of sales records, sales orders, this is a kind of report that we can see all the open list of uh, sales orders so that I will uh, explain you in the sales documents. Then uh, moving over to billing, we will see different types of uh, billing, um, document types of billing, different billing plans. We also have different methodologies, intercompany billing, cross company billing, all these methodologies we will see. These are all scenarios. And uh, in logistics execution, we have everything about uh, transportation and delivery. So we'll see how to create a delivery document and all that uh, O2C uh, process we will cover, including picking, packing, and um, different scenarios which are there for, for example, uh, you know, multiple deliveries, partial delivery processing, multiple delivery processing at same time, backward delivery process, all this will be covered in this topic. And then there's something called decentralized warehouse integration. This is the small, you know, it's, it's a small uh, topic. So this is introduced with SAP S4 HANA. So this I will also cover in this logistics execution. Okay, and, so uh, question here is S4 HANA you are talking. So is it something like uh, SD or what it is S4 HANA is basically? It's a newest uh, version. Uh, it's just a version upgrade, just like iPhone 14 and iPhone 7. So ECC is a older version. Now uh, they have come up with a new version S4. called SAP S4 HANA. And uh, not only the version upgrade, there are so many features that, have, that they have added in S4 HANA. And uh, there are so many cross functionalities and uh, also this opens channels for uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning. There are so many integrations that they have uh, introduced in, with this uh, version. So we might not cover all those topics in S4HANA, but then I will just give you a brief about what is S4HANA and uh, what impact it has on SAP ST consultant. But 80% of the concepts are related, uh, related to SAP ECC only. There's no difference between ECC and S4HANA. We will cover all those topics which, uh, which will be in S4HANA and ECC as well. ECC we will cover 100%, but then I'm saying about S4 HANA, we will, I'll introduce you 60% um, of the topics, whatever you have to know in S4 HANA. If you have to know more, uh, more about this, there are, I will tell you what modules, cross modules you have to uh, um, learn to get grip about S4 HANA. So coming to materials management, so this material management process deals with the you know uh, material uh, master data. So this is a job of an MM consultant, but then I will introduce how to manage this vendor management. I mean, vendor master data, purchase orders. We will see how to post purchase orders. We'll see how to do batch management. We can procure materials in batches. And uh, this, at the same time, we can also sell those materials in batches. So that is called batch management. We'll see how to what what is batch management. How do we do batch management? We will see how to do PGI, PGR, which is post goods uh, receipt. And then there are certain movement types. There are certain records, reports uh, in terms of uh, material management. So I'll explain you all those. And the stock overview, we'll discuss about how to the stock for multiple plants, for single plant, for uh, if, if you don't know the material, but you want, you know the plant, but you don't know which material it is. So you can see, you can see uh, overview of all the materials which are there in one plant. Also, there is a T code for checking overview of the materials for multiple plants in one go. So we'll see all those T codes in this uh, section. 
and then uh, coming to account assignment this is the integration between sap sd module with different uh, modules like fi and mm so account assignment is a very key important topic so we'll discuss what is revenue account determination not only revenue account determination in this top uh, in this session i'll also cover the integrations between sap sd fi and sap sd mm and also sap sd pp pp modules uh, pp stands for production planning and then there's something called copy controls we'll see what are copy controls there are there are different types of copy controls so we'll discuss what are those and this is the most important topic in sap sd which is ATP available to promise and in S4 HANA we have advanced available to promise so we will see what uh, briefly I'll explain you about what, of what this ATP is and then the transfer of requirements is there are so many other topics in this uh, there, I mean so many important topics like product allocation and segmentation strategies these are very important and uh, We'll cover all that, uh, all these topics in this session. And uh, we'll discuss about contracts and special processes. So in these contracts, we will have scheduling agreement, condition contracts, value contracts, quantity contracts. These are some of the important documents as a consultant, as a ST consultant, you should know and you will be using in your day-to-day -day life. So we'll see all the configurations everything about this contracts and special processes and in sap sd we have sales business processes so we will cover all the standard sales business processes coming from starting from inquiry quotation contracts sales orders there's something called forward sales circle and also there is something called backward sales cycles i mean which is reversal sales cycle so we will cover all this forward sales cycle reverse sales cycle and uh, the process how to release billing documents to accounting guys using this t code so we will see that and then collective processing of uh, delivery documents and partial delivery shipment and delivery without order pro forma invoice from uh, a sales order pro forma invoice from a delivery these are all the special uh, you know business processes that you should know so I'll explain you all this. And then coming to document types, we have something called special sales document types. Um, in this special sales document types, credit memo request, debit memo request, cash sales, rush order, all this will fall. So we'll see how to post a written order um, using SAP GUI and also Fiori. We also see to uh, how to create all this uh, uh, credit memo request, debit memo requests, cash sale, rush order, and also invoice correction. So with this, uh, almost 80% of the SAP course will be finished. Drop shipments and special orders is something that you will not get any. I mean, this is a, a very special topic. So we'll discuss what is drop shipment, how we do drop shipment in SAP SD, and also purchase requisition, vendor uh, interfaces, drop shipment billing, vendor uh, invoice received, all this we will discuss. Uh, billing has been split. In billing, we have two types. Earlier also, we have uh, one session for billing. So, but this is just an introduction of what is billing. Here again, we have another uh, session for billing. It, it, will, it will have two types of uh, billing plans. So for services, how it is, uh, um, how we, we have two types of billing plans, periodic billing and milestone billing. So in periodic billing, again, we have uh, different billing, the configurations are different for services and uh, other uh, business processes. So we'll see how do we do that we um in billing plan session and then uh, this is one of the important uh, topic in sap ST, which is called consignment so in consignment we have four types of consignments we'll see what are those four types of consignment and also reverse customer consignment process we'll see what is this and how do we do it and basic functions, as I told you, all these topics are relevant to pricing. So this uh, you can consider uh, this is another part two 
of a pricing session, I mean, pricing concept. So we'll see the incompletion procedure, item proposal, material deter determination, listing exclusion, cross-selling, free goods, output determination, and um, all the uh, pricing record reports that we have in SAP. We will discuss about all those. And then customer complaint management. This is pretty much very easy. This is something like sales returns, but then I have introduced new topics, um, which are called retro billing and uh, external billing document requests. So we will see all this and also free of charge orders, customer inquiries. If we have customer too many customer inquiries, what we have to do, all that we will see. And uh, text determination is a very small topic. We will discuss about what is text, uh, text determination and then uh, Section 23 will be about credit management. This is also a very key and important topic in SAP SD. So we'll discuss what is credit management, how do we do it. For credit management in SAP S4 HANA, there is a new module which they have introduced, which is called FSCM, Financial Supply Chain Management. So earlier we, we used to do credit management in SAP SD module, but now we have to do it I mean, if we have to configure anything, we have to go to financial supply chain management system module. So we'll discuss about what is that FSCM, what new features they've introduced, um, all that we will discuss. Coming to stock transfer, we have three types of stock transfer scenarios, third party sales, normal stock transfer, and uh, intercompany sales or intercompany stock transfer. So we'll see what all these are uh, this session. And then rebate, this is also very important and complicated topic. So we will see what is rebate, how do we do rebates, and then in rebate we have settlements. So once you understand the concept of rebate, so you'll get to know what is settlement, how do we do settlements, all that we will discuss in rebate agreement uh, topic. Warranty and repairs is industry specific. If you need it, I will explain you. This is only for service-based industries. So this is a very topic, a small topic again. And nobody in the market teaches you about this warranty and repairs because this is recently, uh, um, th this has been introduced recently in S4HANA. And then we'll discuss about account receivable. This is just an introduction of FI. Um, because as a SD consultant, you should also know the basics of FI, the financial accounting and costing. So in this uh, session, I'll just introduce you, introduce you about what is, uh, what, what account receivables are, what uh, account payables are, all those uh, financial terminologies, financial concepts that you should know, like credit transaction, debit transaction, for which transaction there will be credit, what transaction, there will be a debit transaction. All this we'll discuss. This is purely about uh, financial accounting and it's just an introduction overview of uh, the FI uh, module. And then LIC, LI, uh, LI stables, EDI, ALE, make to stock, MTO and MTS. These are all the advanced topics in SAP ST. So we will cover all this. Uh, in these topics, uh, there's something called user exits, which I have not included in the uh, curriculum, but then we will also cover user exits. And then we will uh, discuss about reports and analysis and reports in ECC, what kind of reports we have. And in S4HANA, what types of reports we have. And lately, I mean, um, last topics are data migration topics. There are certain techniques for data migration so in ECC and in S4 HANA, this migration techniques are different. So we will cover both ECC technique and also the S4 HANA techniques. And then there are different deployment options in terms of ECC and also in S4 HANA. Now in S4 HANA, we have cloud deployment. In AW, you, you might have heard about AWS. So you can install SAP S4 HANA on AWS within a Flash. Like we have built-in packages in AWS. So you can choose, you can buy whatever package you want, and then you can install SAP S4 HANA uh, in AWS within uh, one or two days. So we'll see all the di different deployment options, not only in S4 HANA, 
even in ECC, we have deployment options. So we will see uh, deployment options for both ECC and s uh, With this, uh, it concludes my course content. If any topic is missing, or externally, if you want special topics like GST implementation or uh, TCS uh, configuration that we will discuss, those are special topics. That is the reason I have not included in this course content. This course content is for both uh, freshers and as well as uh, experienced people. So this this is uh, what we will uh, cover in the course. And any questions or any topics that are missing, you can uh, let me know. I'll send you the course content. So coming to the introduction of SAP, uh, you might have, uh, you, you already know this uh, ERP, what is ERP, why do we use ERP and all. So I'm skipping this uh, session. So we'll di directly go into what is S4 HANA, what is ECC. First of all, before I tell you what is ECC S4 HANA, uh, I would like to know, I would uh, let you introduce the different products that SAP has. Uh, these products are not only old products, but now uh, even in uh, 2022, we have the same products with uh, a small change. So these are the product offerings that SAP offers. SAP has different line of products. First and major product, uh, you know, very, very uh, I mean, the uh, top line product is the SAP S4 HANA business suite, which we were talking about all this time. Uh, earlier it was SAP, it was my ERP and then they have changed it to ECC. ECC stands for Enterprise Central Component. And now the latest version is SAP S4 HANA Business Suite. Uh, there is something called SAP All-in-One, but now this product is not there. There is another product, that, there is a, another replaced product, which is SAP Business by Design. This is for small and medium scale industries. Uh, apparently, we also have another ERP by SAP guys that is called SAP Business One. This is a uh, this is also something like uh, ECC or S4 HANA, but then this is a very compact ERP, and it is only for the small small uh, companies with around ten to hundred crores turnover. So such companies can implement this ERP, and this ERP will have all those features that we have in ECC or S4 HANA. Uh, so these are the different line of products that SAP offers. And apart from this, we all, uh, SAP also has external uh, modules, external products. I will show you what are those external products. Uh, there is something called industry. Uh, one second. Yeah, the SAP. Uh, SRM, which is Supplier Relationship Management. This is a different external product, and this can be merged with ECC. In S4 HANA, we have built-in package for this. You just have to buy the license, and then this will be enabled. All these are different products of SAP. Not only these products, we also have a lot of uh, different products, like SAP um, TR, SAP TRM, SAP FSCM and FN. Now we there is something called cloud integration SAP CTI. These are all the external third party modules in SAP third party products uh, where you can buy and then integrate those uh, modules into your system. So this is where integrations come in. So business warehouse is a, a, a external product. We also have extended business warehouse, which is uh, very popular. And apart from these, we also have specific uh, industry specific solutions uh, for any uh, industry you name, whatever industry, SAP has a solution for it. These are uh, one of the most prominent solutions for retail, SAP IS retail, for banking, IS banking, and for milling products, it's IS milling products. Like for any industry, for across 75 industries, they have uh, designed solutions which covers media, automobile, healthcare, whatever industry it is. Even for e-commerce, they have a new solution now in S4 HANA. So based on the client's industry, um, client can buy these industry-specific solutions and then 
this is something like an add on if if you are dealing with a service based uh, kind of business and you don't need all those that a manufacturing industry has so you can buy this industry specific solution and you will have all those uh, uh, terminologies all those jargons which your industry deals with apart from that you can customize this solution to such a level that all your end users can also use it so these are called industry specific solutions and apart from, and, and and on top of this you can also do customization of your own using a, a unique language which is programming language which is called sap app uh, so sap app stands for advanced business application programming so using this programming language we can do customization in the sap solution so this is uh, an overview of uh, sap so i will walk you through the versions first they have started with sap r3 4.7 this is the first version of the sap guys um after that uh, at this point sap r3 it was called the erp sap my erp later they have changed the name to sap ecc 5.0 and the next next version was sap ecc 6.0 and then they have introduced enhancement packages so it started with ehp 6 e sap ecc 6.0 ehp 6 and then uh, they have not changed the version but then they have upgraded they have added some more features and the new functionalities and then they have introduced sap enhancement package 7 and later the latest uh, erp i mean the latest version is sap ecc uh, 6.0 enhancement package 8 nowadays in market we also have sap ecc 7 which is the latest version and after that they have stopped uh, you know investing in sap ecc and then they have come up with a new version altogether which is called sap s4 hana 2020 2020 is the version uh, the name of the product is sap s4 hana um, business suite sap s4 hana business suite in that again we have two segregations one is for finance another one is for logistics so finance uh, segregation is called simple finance and um, logistics segregation is called simple logistics so s4 hana s4 stands for the the um, S4 stands for the version, and then HANA stands for the database. So HANA is the database. Um, later classes, I'll explain you what is HANA, why uh, it is, uh, why why they are recommending to use SAP products on HANA. For that, there is a, a brief introduction. I'll explain you. So before that, I'll walk you through the sub modules that we have in SAP ST. all these uh, to, uh, you know basic introduction i am skipping because you already have an idea of what is um erp and all so hana is a database and this database is uh, particularly known for compressing data and using it i mean compressing data and storing all the data in ram so it does uh, that with certain uh, technology so i'll explain you how that uh, you know how this system does uh, compressing of data and also there is something called column to row i mean this this particular data converts all the rows to column and then it retrieves data because of that the speed of retrieving data the speed of pulling records or the speed of operation improves and uh, hana stands for high performance in memory database as the name says all the memory whatever memory uh, in the business transaction is there i mean the business transaction data for example if you have 2 tb of data the complete business uh, business transaction data all the 2 tb data won't be stored in your rom like your hard disk or something like that it will be compressed to 10 to the power of 18 times and then it will be stored in the ram itself so this particular database retrieves or pulls the data from the ram itself so that is the reason the speed of uh, reporting is improved multiple times it's like it, it, there is no comparison between excel ecc and s4hana 
for example in ecc if if it takes uh, at least 2 hours for pulling a report in espohana it comes within one or one minute or maybe less than one minute so that is the speed uh, of sap uh, you know this this particular database so next classes we'll briefly discuss how this database tools uh, how, how this database works what is the architecture of this database why um, reporting has improved all those uh, key concepts we will discuss uh, i want to show you the uh, subtopics I think I lost that slide somewhere. So there are different subtopics in uh, SAP SD. So I'll introduce that. So SD basically comes under uh, SCM module, right? No, SAP SD is different. SCM uh, is different. Or it's like an, it's SEM stands for supply chain management that is more into logistics and transportation. Okay. But uh, that that has extensions for SAP ST. There's something called logistics execution, LE, which is a sub module. So that is closely integrated with SAP ST module. So this SEM is integrated with ST and LE concepts. So uh, what is SAP? Basically, SAP stands for Systems, Applications, and Products in Data Processing. And basically, SAP is not a product. It is a name of a company. Whatever we are using or whatever we are discussing now, SAP ECC or S4HANA. So those are the products of SAP. SAP is a company itself. A lot of people think like SAP is a software product. SAP is the name of the company. And then this particular company produces all these uh, different products. This is a free meeting and uh, it will end. I will send you a new meeting link. Uh, just in uh, once this meeting is ended, I'll send you a new meeting link. So yeah, so this is uh, SAP stands for Systems, Applications and Products in Data Processing. And it is the name of a company. It has different products, as I told you, SAP, ECC, and S4HANA. The reason why SAP is so popular, because SAP holds more than 72% uh, 